Yo, 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 this is Chris Madrid here on Madrid Videos, a.k.a. The Madrid Bear! Yeah. And next up, we got a self-defense class 101 video for y'all. I'm here with my good friend, Michael Curtis, on this video. And a couple disclaimers for this is this video is for people who don't know how to fight. You know, this is, you know, so if you already know how to fight, you were taught by a pro in karate or boxing or mixed martial arts, you know. This isn't the video for you to learn how to fight because obviously those people were probably much better as a teacher than me, you know, but if you want to laugh and stick around, you know, and another disclaimer, this video is to not promote any violence or fighting, you know, this is one for entertainment purposes and, you know, just in case, you know, if you need, you know, to, to defend yourself someday, you know, to the go defend yourself, these moves will hear, you know, this is not just to go around kicking random people's asses, you know, that I, I do not want to promote that at all. You know, but anyways, I hope y'all enjoy this video. Like, comment, subscribe to Madrid Videos. Tell your fan friends. Let's get to the video now, yo. Wow, I'm such a smart kid. Every moment is timing. First grade, well. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun today. Hey, uh, here we see. Uh, hey, hey. hey. All right, my name is Steve Skinner, and I am going to teach you how to fight because your mama paid a shit ton of money. You know, I don't even want to be out here to teach you, but your mom paid me a shit ton of money and there's some extra sexual stuff, if you know what I mean, to get me out here and teach your dumbass how to fight. So, you are going to respect me at all times and you're going to obey everything I say. So, what is your name, young man? Michael Sanchez. It doesn't matter what your name is. It doesn't matter. The point of this get together or gathering is to teach you how to fight, not to chat with each other. I don't give a fuck about anything. So, I just want to tell you right now. So, do you even know how to fight? Yes. You know how to fight? Oh, so if you know how to fight, then why the fuck are you here? Just to get some extra tips or something? Man? I don't know why I'm here. You don't know, you don't know why you're here. Well, obviously your mother was telling me that you got your ass beat by the human sheep. Is that true? Yeah, but I was sick that day. Oh, you were sick. Well, you still got your ass beat, so you're here now and you're gonna stay here because I got a shit ton of money, some extra stuff. So, tell me, what is the main goal of a fight? What are you trying to accomplish in a fight? What is it accomplish? To look good for the chicks. Hey, chickies! No! That is not the main goal of a fight. The main goal of a fight is to not get your ass beat. So, you need to do everything in, in your power and your strength to not get your ass beat. It doesn't matter how you look. It doesn't matter about any of that, or how strong you are or how much you beat the guy's ass. The goal is for you not to get your ass beat and for your teeth to stay straight as they are. You know, so you gotta use anything you can. Your hands, your feet, your teeth, anything. What about your penis? No, that's called ass rape. No. Okay, Captain Dumb Dumb, whatever you say. Hey. You will respect me, or I will drop your ass right here. You got that? You're gonna fuck me in the ass, is that what you're gonna do? No, I'm gonna drop you and beat the shit out of you. So, we're gonna get with these lessons right here, right now, so I can get your little smart ass out of here. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to ask you, young man. How tall are you? 5'10". I didn't know they stacked shit, shit that high. high. Yeah, I seen the movie, you dumb redneck. Well, thank you. I am a redneck, but yeah, great movie. Wow, very surprised. Not a lot of kids your age know what good movie is. But anyways, let's get on with the lesson. Okay, so first thing I'm going to teach your dumbass is how to punch. So watch for a second. You know, this is how you punch. You get in the stance. You plant your feet on the ground. You know, back up a little for me. Shit, you gave us a fuck. All right. You got so, a with that? Yes, I got a big fucking paw with that. No queers. All right, come on, go. Hurry up. All right. All right, anyways. All right, so this is how you punch. So you plant your feet. Pat your feet, you put your hands up here, you know, to your face, you know, so you don't get punched in the face. You gotta protect yourself. And then you twist your body and you go boom! You punch like that. What the hell is that? What the hell are you doing? I'm punching. That is not punching. That's sweetie. What the hell is that? That is the gayest thing I've ever seen. That's how you punch. You don't no. You don't punch okay, you so punch your feet. Start with that. Punch your feet. And then bend them a little bit. 
not like that. What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? No, you're not fucking surfing. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so you put this foot a little bit in front like that. You put that foot a little bit and then you stick that foot right there. So now scrounge, you know, still stand tall. Do you know how to stand tall? Like what the hell is wrong with you? Yeah. Stand tall like you're doing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see? Okay, you don't have to sing it. That's just how you do the national anthem. Okay, so now you stand like that. Okay, maybe spread them a little bit. Spread them a little bit. Now scrounge. Okay, now put your fist right here. Put your fist. There you go. Like that. Okay. Now do a punch. Do it further. What the hell is that? What the, what the hell is this? That's not how you do it. You're not like, uh, uh. No. Punch like a fucking man. <laughs> Better, but you still gotta keep your feet planted, cause then if you if you're off your feet, then this is what they're gonna do. Watch, do that again, do that shit again. They're gonna do this, and then boom! They're gonna trip you like that if you're off your feet. So learn next time. We'll go over it a little bit, but I gotta show you some other shit. Okay, before we move on to the next thing, show me your punch. Okay, that's good. Why the fuck did you do that five minutes ago? Yeah. You know? Yeah. You suck up? Yeah. Probably that's what you're gonna say. Yeah, do I? Who knows? Maybe I did. Alright, we'll move on now. Did you go to Dragon Ball? Your sex life doesn't matter to me. I don't give a fuck if you fuck queers, if you fuck women, or trans. I don't care. Let's move on. Alright, so next, we are gonna practice kicking. So, this is how you wanna kick, you know. You're not Bruce Lee yet, obviously, so you're not gonna be doing super kicks. What? Like, you like what the small penis? No, let me move on. Let me do the fucking lesson. All right, so anyway, so you're not going to be doing that. You're not going to go, Wah! you're not going to be doing those kind of kicks. So the kind of kicks you're going to be doing is this. It's like a kickball, you know? Do the kickball. That's why I call it. The kickball, you know, you run up and then go, boom. You do that, you know, to the guy that's nuts. If he's trying to mess with you, you know? So a lot of people will say, well, you're a pussy if you do that. But like I said in the beginning, the main goal of a fight is to not get your ass beat. It doesn't matter how you look. You know, mostly any person will not know how to defend that. You know, watch. I'll do it to you. Oh, oh, oh. See? Did you know how to defend that? No. <laughs> My bad. Maybe I was a little too harsh. No. But get up. Get your ass up. Get your ass up. You even got kicked in the nuts before? Oh, yeah, you don't have nuts. You have a vagina. Hey. Too far. And I have one of the biggest dicks ever. That's what Brandy Love said. The biggest dick in your ass, though. <laughs> no. No. That's what Brandy Love said. You probably don't know. You shouldn't know who that is because she is an adult actress. You shouldn't know what that is. But anyways, let's move on. We're getting off topic. So, you see, most people don't know how to defend that. So, you're going to do it. So, show me your kick. What the hell was that? That's a kick. Do the kick like I did. Like a kickball. That's like a t-ball kick. Kick like you did? Yeah. <laughs> Whoop! Why the fuck did you fall? I I get up. I slip. I slip. Get your ass up. Is something slippery? Did you come on the grass? No. Okay. Just shut up. Okay. For the, the rest of the lesson, just shut the fuck up. Just do what I tell, and we'll get out of here. Because it is hot as fuck. It's over 100 degrees. I gotta be teaching you, dumbass. I did not sign up for this. All right. So, do it. Do a kick. Better. Okay. That's better. Yeah. That's a better kick. Yeah. You go like that. You know. Obviously, not everyone's gonna do the running up kick. But yeah, that's good. Now we'll move on to our next thing. Okay, so you somewhat got the punching down and the kicking down, so now I'm gonna teach you how to defend yourself when someone's actually coming at you. You know, your defense move, because defense is the most important thing in fighting. Not the offense, it's the defense, because the defense avoids you from getting your ass beat. Not the offense, because offense is useless when you don't know defense, and that's in any sport, not just boxing. So, all right, punch me, I'll teach you. What the hell was that? Punch again, what the hell was that? So that's what you do. What the hell is that? Some Hannibal Lecter shit. You know, because the thing I've learned from fighting is that no one wants to fight a weirdo. Heck, no one wants to be around a weirdo. Do you have, you want to be around, around weirdos? No. Well, I'm around you. You're a big fat weirdo. Ow, I thought I'm fucking deaf. Could you <laughs> like, Hey, hey, what did I say? Shut the fuck up. No talking. Yep. I'm trying to teach you here, and I can't be teaching you if you're opening your smart mouth. 
All right. Shut up. All right. But anyways, yeah. So that's what you can do because no one wants to be around or fight a weirdo. So that's what you do. So you get you get the two hands. You do that, and then you go. <laughs> right now, you try. You try. You try. Ah! Ah! It was not for you to scream at me. That is wrong. It's for you to do. So you do the two hands. I guess you can do the one since you're pretty strong. You just don't know how to fucking fight. So you do the two hands or the one hand, and then you go. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. <laughs> okay, okay, I get it. All right, all right. You got that down, obviously. That's the best thing you've done yet. So let's move on to the next one. It's really pointless. Okay, this is strategy number four. I gotta teach you. Okay, so now I'm gonna defend. I'm gonna teach you how to defend a kick. So when you defend a kick, so when they kick, when they try to kick you, you gotta hold on. Like you gotta go quick though. You gotta basically hug the fuck out of the leg. You gotta hug it. You know because. People don't like when they get hugged there or really anywhere. Well, they love hugs like that from people they love. But when, when people are fighting, you know, people don't like being hugged. It's just like that Logan Paul and um, Floyd Mayweather fight. Why? Do you even know what you're talking about? Yes, I know what I'm talking about. That's why I'm fucking here teaching you these lessons. But anyways, I was, I was your saying. Your hair and your career. Hey, shut up. What did I say about that mouth? Shut the fuck up. I will stop this right now. Right, but anyways, as I was saying with the Logan Paul and um, Floyd Mayweather fight, they were just hugging for eight rounds and everyone got pissed off. So if you really want to piss someone off and don't want someone to fight you, just start hugging their leg. So you got to do it quick though. So when you, you kick, you got to, you see, watch. Okay, try to kick. You got to go like this. You got to go. You got to hug the leg. You got to hug the leg. And you take him down. You take him down. And then you get him in the fucking ankle rock. Yeah! Turn down. Turn down. Hey. That's what you do when they do that. So that's what you do. On that move, you hug the fucking leg and you take him down and do the ankle lock, the Kurt Angle ankle lock. You know, say that name, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle. Yeah, you do the, the ankle lock there. All right, now you try. You try that. So I'll do the kick. Don't be too rough, because obviously I'm an old man here, old redneck, like you called me earlier. So let's do this. Hey, hey, what, what the hell are you doing? Hey, hey, oh, fuck, what? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Oh, you are so freaking. Oh, what the fuck was that? Oh, 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 what the hell? Is that good, boss? Yeah, that was better than I expected, but, you know, I got a bad back, so you gotta be more of a gentle with me, but let's go on to the next one. Oh, fuck! A few other things I want to teach you, some little dirty tricks, you know, that I learned. So get closer, so I'm gonna teach you a little bit of things that you can do to your opponent. So, first you can stomp your foot, ooh, you do that. And then you can kick them in their shin like that, you know, or like that, you know, that's a better way. And then you can go, uh, uh, you do the cry shot, like, uh, 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 uh. you do the cry shot, and you spit in their face, you get a huge loogie, you do that, you know, you do that in their face, you know, and after that, you know, if you have a shaver or anything, you get it out of your pocket, you get the razor, and then you go shave the head, you go, uh, uh, you shave the fucking head, you know, bald, you do that, and then after, you know, you get there, you get them right here, and then after that, you go, uh, and then you go, uh, you go, uh, you go, uh, you, go, uh, you kick them in the fucking leg like that. And then once they're down on the ground, you do the, the cannibal. I call it the cannibal. You go, wee, boom. You do that. So there's some other, you know, dirty tricks for you to learn. Now get up. Now bitch, get up. So let's move on to the next. Before we move on, I just, I really have to ask you, I'm really curious. How in the fuck did you lose to the human sheep? I would easily kick his ass. Everybody's biggest ass, apparently he was ass why you fucking here. But your mama thinks that you can't fight. She thinks you're a little bitch in secret, you know. She won't tell you that, but she told me I was fucking her last night. But anyways, you're sick. Hey, what I say about that mouth? Zip it. I'll handcuff that mouth if I have to. But anyways, let's move on, okay? So for this fifth final move, you know, if someone's insulting you, you know, if you you trade blows. One more you know, question. What? Did you handcuff your son to the bed? No, why would you say that? Why, why would it be any reason for me to handcuff my son to the bed? Because your son told me that you butt fucked him. No, no. You don't even know my son. My son don't even live in this town. But anyways, shut the fuck up, okay? Let's get on with the lesson that is not important and it's not true. So anyway, so when you're dealing with name calling, you see? You know, with name calling, you're not going to fight someone just because they fucking called you a name. If they called you an asshole, if they called you a bitch, you're not going to fight someone. Because those are just words. Words don't mean shit, honestly. So... When someone calls you a so let's just trade watch. You'll be like, you're a fucking pussy. Right now, you say something to me. You're a dumb redneck. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna be like, you know what? It ain't worth it. You piece of shit. So I'm gonna walk away. Yeah, so you walk away and then, which, what? If someone, let's just say, you pretend to be the other person, so if they try to come up on you, you know, all right, so now come up on me, I'll show you what to do. So if they try to come up on you, you go there and then you go boom, and then you go ooh with the nuts, and then you go, oh, 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 oh. and then yeah, oh. like that, and then you go boom, boom. That's what you do with that. So that's how you fight. Are you crying? You hurt me. Shut up, little bitch. Shut up. So that's what you do if someone tries to fight you from behind, because that is a bitch move. You know, you are not. You know, to tolerate that, you know, no one should be coming up on you from behind, you know, real men don't do that. You never see me doing that, but other people like to do that shit because they're little pussies. I, I think I shit my diapers. You're wearing diapers too? Yeah. What the I, hell is the matter with you? I have a... Your mother told me you're a little pussy, but she didn't say you're this much of a pussy. Get your ass. Get your fucking pussy ass. You hurt me. You hurt me. Oh, you live. You're living. Fuck off. All right, so anyways, that is what you do, you know, when someone tries to beat you from behind, which is the most pussiest move on earth. So let's go on to the next one. Motherfucker. Okay, so for this next one, I know this is probably gonna be one of your favorite moments in a fight. So this is how to defend people on the ground. I know you like getting on the ground with men, you know, that gay shit, but don't fucking make gay or weird or else I'm calling this shit off. All right, so this is what you do. So you get on the ground. All right, so I'll be on the ground, you know, because most likely if you're getting your ass beat, this is the position you're gonna be, you're gonna be facing your partner, you know, so. Get on, so, so, so get on the ground, you know, and show me, you know, what you would do, you know, if you come to this position, you know. So, hey, come on, I'll show you what. What, hey, what the fuck? Hey, oh, <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh, 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 you're gonna fucking get it, boy. A few hours later. Oh. Oh, what the fuck did you eat? Oh, oh. I had. Uh, oh. I have rotten pizza. That was not ill. What the fuck? Is that poor or something? Damn. Yes, I am. I live on the street. You got a problem? Damn. And how the fuck was your mom able to afford so much money for me to teach you how to fight? But anyways, that's not important. So let's try this again. And don't make it fucking gay or weird or nothing. Like okay, so we're going to be on the ground. So this is how we're going to do. We're going to be on the ground. So be in a punching position, you know. You know, get close, you know, in a punching position. Like you're about to put someone out. So if you're on the ground, so I'm on the ground, I'm like, hey, hey, no petty, no petty. Like a little bitch would, you know, that's probably what you're gonna do in this, in this position. So I'll show you. So try to punch me. And then you go, boop, ooh, 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 ooh. And then you'll turn, you up, kiss me? you'll turn up on that. And then you go, uh, uh, stupid bitch. Uh, oh, uh, oh my uh, gosh, then ow. You'll punch him. You'll keep on punching him like that. So that's how you do it. So you cross the legs, you get, you use both of your legs. And after that, you turn them over and then you start punching them. Beat the shit out of them. That's what you do in that scenario. And then if you want, you know, this little bitch move, but if they really piss you off, there's something really fucked up, you go kick them in the fucking face like that. But it's only if they really deserve it. You got the little bitch move, you kick them, you go like, ugh, like that. I won't kick you because you'll probably be in the hospital if I do that. So I that's bet, what you do. I bet you have anger issues. What? You have anger issues, don't you? You damn right I have anger issues. You want to know why I have anger issues? My dad dropped me on my fucking head when I was two. So yeah. And I lost a lot of brain cells because of that. He probably dropped you because he didn't like you. Hey, that's none of your fucking business. You know what, if you speak about my father again, I will fuck you up. You got that. You got that. And you know what? You know why I'm out some pissed? You know, because I was supposed to marry my fucking cousin, you know, but she ended up getting a boyfriend and we're going to get fucking married. You that's mar why. You married your cousin? I was going to, but then some other ran next door her for me. So that's why I'm fucking pissed. Was that your brother? No, that wasn't my fucking brother. That was some other douchebag, redneck. You know, not family related. No, I was gonna marry her, but then that other shit happened. So you all know why I'm fucking pissed. So don't talk about me about anger because I know about her. Let's move on. Okay, so we've reached towards the end of our time together in this class, and I gotta say, you know, you're a decent kid. You're an arrogant, dumb fuck, you know, loud mouth. But you know what? At your age, I was that too. You know, I was, you know, dumb shit, you know, arrogant boy, you know, so I don't blame you, you know, but anyways, you know, I'm pretty sure you've learned a whole lot, and you know what, you better actually use this shit that I taught you on that human cheat, you know, to kick his ass, because otherwise this shit was pointless, we were out here in a hot 100 degree sun for no reason then, if you're not gonna actually fucking use this on him, because that's the whole point of this. You know, because he's a fucking weirdo. You know, I know you're weird too, but he's even more weird. You know, I heard he likes to go to the fucking zoo and have sex 
with fucking zebras, you know, and play with the zebra balls, all that shit, you know, which is really fucking weird, you know. Don't ask me how I know, you know, but just yuck. Ooh. Man, but anyways, you know, but yeah, if you kick his ass, the worst you're gonna get is a Saturday school, which is ain't that bad. I know you've been to Saturday school before, because I checked your records before, you know, we came, you've been to Saturday school like four or five times, you know, which proves you're really fucking stupid, but you probably really don't give a shit if you go to Saturday school, huh? You know, and there's a new teacher, I know what happened to the old old teacher, but the new teacher is a good friend of mine, Mr. Rodriguez. He's a fucking weirdo just like you, so you guys might get along just well, you know. But anyways, so, teach me everything you've learned within the past, like, hour or so, you know, that me teaching yourself. Show me, you know, what have you learned? Uh, and do I actually kick you or punch you or do I ever do I actually- No! Just show me, you know, don't actually fucking kick me and punch me, you fucking idiot. Okay. Just show me in- an example and demonstration, you know, you know, show me all the moves you have learned. Come on. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I told you not to fucking punch me. You motherfucker, get your ass over here. You motherfucker, you're gonna get it now. You're gonna get it now. I'm gonna get your ass if I ever catch you. Hey, human shit. You remember me? Kick my ass a while ago. One more thing. Why? You know the best way actually to avoid a fight, guys? What? Is to get naked. You know, it's true. Look it on YouTube. The best way to avoid a fight is to get naked. Because who wants to fight a naked person? No one. 